y'all welcome back to my youtube channel today is wednesday march 9th today's gonna be a busy day so i thought it would be the perfect day to bring y'all along with me i got up this morning at 6 30 i got some work done got dressed and now here we are i wanted to go ahead and get my day started by getting all of my errands out of the way so i don't have to worry about them and think about them all day i've got a couple of places i need to go i've got some fun stuff to share with y'all and it's gonna be a good day i'm gonna take y'all along with me let's go The first order of business this morning was picking up Cody and I's prescriptions. One thing down, about a million more to go. Let's pop into Kroger real quick and grab a couple of things for dinner. When I walked in, of course I noticed there was no one in line at Starbucks, so I had to grab my favorite venti iced coffee with sugar-free vanilla, no classic, and a little half and half, which I then promptly proceeded to spill everywhere. But it's okay, I saved most of it. I didn't pick up much at Kroger, but I thought I would do a quick little grocery haul and show you what I did grab. I grabbed some squash and zucchini because I am making a recipe video about grilled squash today. I'm gonna do a cauliflower ground beef casserole for dinner. So I grabbed this cauliflower medley riced vegetables, some ground beef. I saw my friend Sophie talk about this zero Starbucks coffee creamer and I just had to try it at least one time. Some beef broth and tomato paste for the casserole I'm gonna make tonight. Some cheese to have on hand, a diced onion. And then these were on sale, and so I just figured I'd grab these and throw them in the freezer in case I don't have an option for a side with dinner. But these are like grilling vegetables. So they have a little foil tray in here full of the vegetables, and you just throw them on the grill. So I got the Brussels sprouts, carrots, and onions, broccoli florets, potatoes, and carrots, and yellow squash, zucchini, and onions. But I don't know. We'll have to see if they're worth the couple of bucks I paid for them. I bought some watermelon two days ago, and it's been raining and gross outside, but the sun is out today, so I thought it would be a good morning to give the ladies and Mr. Blackbeard a watermelon treat. Ain't that right, Minnie, with the no beard? I don't know who's plucking out your feathers, but you got none. My two little birds that were inside a little over a week ago, they are back to feeling good and healthy and all is well out here in the chicken world. The next thing on the agenda today is I'm about to attempt to build my new Avituvin rabbit hutch. I'm so, so, so excited for this. It's gonna give Rudy a new space to play in, and I'm gonna attempt to put it together all by myself since Cody is at work. So Avi Tuvin makes pet houses for a wide variety of animals. They make chicken coops, they make rabbit hutches, and this is going to be a great little play space for Rudy. So one thing I do want to note is rabbits do need approximately 30 square feet of space, at least in the minimum. So I would not recommend this as a main habitat for a rabbit. You will definitely need to attach a playpen or a play space to it so they have ample space to do rabbit things. But I'm so excited for this and another really exciting thing that kind of happened. Um, we're going to meet another bunny on Saturday. I feel like Rudy has been a little bit lonely lately and so I found a rabbit rescue in Houston and we are going to go meet June on Saturday and see if she's a good candidate to come home with us and begin the bonding process with Rudy. So there's that but for now let's build the new rabbit hutch. Got everything unpacked, got the instruction manual out. It does say two-person assembly, about 45 minutes, but I feel like I can accomplish this on my own. It doesn't look too hard, but everything is well labeled, all of the pieces, all of the screws. Let's see how handy I am. I just went and found Cody's drill. Got some batteries charging, and I feel like I'm going to just be a master assembler over here. Ain't that right, Bobo? Oh yeah. I 
started at 12.08, so I'm 40 minutes in, and I have gotten a good majority of it put together. Exactly an hour after I started, I have finished the little rabbit hutch. I love that it has this little lock on the end, so I can reach in and grab him if I need to, which I never do. And I'm just going to leave these little bottom panels open so he can come in and out whenever he pleases. Going to put a little bed up there. But now we've got to move this over to the rabbit area. Well, the couch that was in the rabbit area, I ended up moving it down here into the sunken living area so that the boys can do their favorite thing, which is look out the window and bark at everything that goes by. Y'all have missed this couch, boys. Rudy has been trying to eat it. That's why we had to get it out of there. Oh, you look so cute there, Bobo. I did it, y'all. I moved the couch over to the other part of the house. I moved the new Avituvin rabbit hutch in here. And now we have a new rabbit area that is a little bit more rabbit proofed. Over here, I have the bottom door open so he can come and go as he pleases. Up here at the top, I put some little pads in here. I think I'm gonna order some fleece blankets to line the cage with, but for now, we're just gonna let him figure it out, and I may place a little Amazon order later today. He's got the ramp to get up, and y'all, I am so excited about it. I'm gonna open this up and let him come play. Please don't pay attention to the mess in his cage. I've gotta clean that out. He makes a mess in quite literally two days. Two days. Big mess. I've been building the rabbit hutch and reorganizing for the past two hours now, and all of a sudden it is 2.15 in the afternoon. And the only thing I've had today is that coffee. And it hit me like a freight train that I was starving. So I made an egg roll in a bowl a couple of days ago, and so I heated up the leftovers to have for lunch. So I added a little sriracha, some fresh chopped green onions over the top, and then I have a bowl of raspberries. I picked these up at Aldi yesterday, and they look like they may not be fully ripe, but we're just gonna go for it. Yeah, they're a little on the sour side, but it is what it is. So we're having egg roll in a bowl and some raspberries. Yum! We love eating the leftovers out of the fridge. It makes me feel so good when I don't waste any food. It's been about an hour and Rudy is still trying to figure out his new hutch, but he does keep sitting over here and giving me the death glare. He's not very happy that I took his couch away from him, but I think once he figures out his hutch, He's gonna be a happy boy. Look at these delicious grilled squash skewers that I just made for my grilling page. Don't these look absolutely outstanding? Yum. I heard someone in here scratching on the bottom of the bathtub. Yes, my spoiled Cocker Spaniels still only wanna drink out of the bathtub. Bo showed up to join in too. It is about 4.30 now, and I'm not going to lie, I've hit a little bit of a midday slump. So I'm going to break open one of these bad boys, one of these Alani New energy drinks. This is the Cosmic Stardust. I love these. They're so good. I'm sipping on my mineral water, my energy drink. One drink for hydration, one drink for fun. Cheers. <laughs> Y'all ready to come hang out, little birds? here hanging out with the chickens this afternoon I thought it would be the perfect time to give y'all a little bit of an update of what's going on in my life right now so as y'all know I am in the process of buying this place right here and I have been the most stressed out I've been for like the last month it's about killed me my stress levels Cooper get out of the chicken coop but I finally have good news 
things are rolling. I have finally heard an actual closing date, which is very, very soon. And I cannot wait for this to be lifted off of my shoulders. But I'm so excited. I have so many plans and ideas for what I want to do to this place. There is a lot. All it's gonna take is a lot of money and a lot of time. So it's gonna be very slow, but there's a couple of things that I can't wait to start doing. We're getting so close. It's gonna be so exciting to be able to do whatever I want. Isn't that exciting? I'm so excited. Look at these two planes like flying in formation over the house. Interesting. If my calculations are right, Within the next five to seven days, both of these ladies might be little chick mamas. They've both been broody for at least 14 days now. Chickens have to sit on the eggs for about 20 to 21 days. But I'm so excited. We might hatch babies in a week. Okay, so I have a confession. I got really anxious earlier and I kind of stopped filming and then Cody asked me, if I wanted to go to Tractor Supply with him to have a key made. And uh, I made a bad decision. It made me happy though. Yeah, it made her happy. <laughs> I'll show y'all a little more later. This was kind of an impulse purchase. I gotta go home and set up a little brooder for the babies. Okay guys, so I have another confession. I went to Tractor Supply this morning. It is the next day. I needed some garden shears because I just feel like my head's been a little spacey today and it's an absolutely incredible day outside. So I thought it'd be the perfect time to just work out in the yard, soak up the sunshine and just clear my head a little bit. But I sat there talking to a tractor supply employee for a little while and I somehow came home with two more chickens. So we're now at a total of seven baby chicks. I'm about to go add them to my brooder, and I'm not gonna tell Cody that I added them. So, shh, it's our little secret. We're gonna see how long it takes him to figure out that we have two extra in there. So here is what we have set up. I did a little makeshift brooder, and these babies are so small that I had to put some rocks in their water so they didn't drown. But look at the little fro on this one. It's gonna be a fro chicken and it has the perfect little fro already. How cute is that? We have a couple more under there. Total of seven now. I had so many dark chickens last time that I think it's gonna be kind of fun to have a couple of light chickens. But they're all warm and happy. This is a little heating plate. Look at the little head over there popping up. I can't wait to share my new babies with you guys. This is my little present to myself for buying this house. A couple extra little chickens. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Look at them all, y'all. So like I mentioned, it is the next day. I don't know what it was, but last night, I just started feeling like super heavy, super anxious. I don't know why. And so I just put down the camera and just tried to take a little bit of a chill pill. Ended up going to Tractor Supply with Cody and now I have baby chickens on my counter because I don't know where the lid is I made to go over the top, but it's fine. I then picked up two more baby chickens this morning that we are going to hide from Cody. Shh, we're gonna see how long it takes him to notice. But look, I got these really cute pink gardening gloves at Tractor Supply. I got these new little snip snips because we have some wisteria, which is a vine. Cooper, this is not for you, bud. And it like takes over the front of our house. So I'm about to go cut that back. Just do some yard work, enjoy some sun. It's gonna be a good day. But I think on this note, I am going to go ahead and wrap up this vlog. A lot has happened. Added some chickens, getting ready to add another rabbit. The funny farm is growing just in time for me to own this place. So on that note, I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.